vitiligo or whitish patches on skin is a dreaded disease among masses usually because of the misconceptions associated with it let us see about vitiligo in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel a health related topic is explained via video every week if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new content is released this week's video is about vitiligo vitiligo is a disease in which there is depigmentation or the loss of pigment in the skin due to loss of melanocytes or pigment producing cells in the skin your skin has a color due to this melanocytes whenever due to some disease this melanocytes are destroyed it results in loss of the pigment so that area becomes white this is called vitiligo it is present in almost 2% of the population it is not very rare and it is a chronic condition it's not a short term problem it's a long term problem what is the cause for this vitiligo this is considered as an autoimmune disease what is an autoimmune disease as i explained in a video on thyroid autoimmune diseases are diseases in which the immune system of our own body attacks our own cells instead of foreign cells ideally immune system should attack something which comes from outside like a germ instead of that it starts attacking our own cells you tend to get diseases these are called autoimmune diseases vitiligo is one such autoimmune disease also this has a family preponderance meaning there is some genetic component if some person in the family has this disease there is a higher chance of the persons other persons in the family also getting affected by it and this may also result after some skin trauma like sunburns or trauma as it is an autoimmune disease this may occur in association with other autoimmune diseases like diseases of the thyroid diseases of the adrenal gland diseases of blood like pernicious anemia so all these autoimmune diseases can occur together what are the common areas which can be affected by vitiligo usually face lips hands and feet groin buttocks anal area all this can be affected even the inside of the mouth that is the mucous membranes can be affected by this disease this can start in a localized area can spread to other areas in some individuals it can almost involve the entire body this can also involve the hair because in that area the hair follicles also lose the melanocytes so that areas hair may also turn white how is this vitiligo diagnosed usually it is a clinical diagnosis doctor can examine you and diagnose it sometimes an examination under uv light using a instrument called woods light a very simple instrument this can differentiate between other conditions which can cause depigmentation so this can be differentiated from those diseases very rarely only other investigations like skin biopsy may be required what is the treatment there are treatments available for vitiligo like steroid creams like other group called calcineurin inhibitors there are drugs oral drugs called as soralen which associated with ultraviolet ray therapy can help in bringing back the pigment so all this can help if the disease condition is very severe and localized you can probably do away with the surgery like skin grafting some area, some other area skin can be grafted on to this area if it is extensive and not amenable to treatment by medicines you can do camouflaging techniques that is via makeup or creams this can be camouflaged but remember any treatment for this doesn't prevent any recurrence of this disease from happening in other areas so if you have or treated in one area vitiligo can happen in other area but 
more than the treatment, the misconceptions regarding this disease are the worrisome part. What are the misconceptions? So this disease is often considered contagious that by touching a person with vitiligo, this will spread to the other person. Absolutely not. This notion came from leprosy, a similar pigmentary disorder, but which is infectious in nature, but which is even more dangerous. This is not leprosy. So this doesn't spread by touch or by living with the same individual. Yes, this is hereditary, this is familial, but not all persons who are born in the family are likely to get it or likely to have the same severity. It is not 100%. 30% of individuals with vitiligo will have some family history. Doesn't mean every family with vitiligo will produce only children with vitiligo. And children are not born with vitiligo. Usually it starts to manifest before 20 years of age. Usually children when they are born are absolutely normal. They have their pigments in the cells. So they are born normally. And vitiligo is not treatable. No, absolutely not. You have very many treatments. That too in the recent past you have newer drugs like calcineurin inhibitors, soralin plus UVA therapy. So there are various treatment modalities available for this disease. Even when you are not able to treat completely, there are ways to get rid of the problem associated with this disease that is the loss of pigment. Only dark skinned individuals will develop vitiligo. No, it is more obvious in dark skinned individuals, but any and every race in this world can be affected by this vitiligo. Usually foods are attributed to the causation and worsening of vitiligo. No, absolutely foods have no role in the causation or worsening of this disease. You can eat a healthy diet with this disease. Don't worry about any food. And people tend to apply lots of oils for this disease. No, it is not going to help. And similarly, taking multivitamin supplements is not going to help. Take a healthy diet for your general health. For vitiligo alone, specific food related treatments are not advisable. Usually because of all these misconceptions, it is generally a disease which has many taboos. Kindly get rid of this. They are absolutely normal like us. Their immune system is fine. They may get sunburns because of the pigment loss. So they will require some sun protection in the form of sunscreens or umbrellas or lotions. But otherwise they are absolutely fine. World Vitiligo Day is observed on June 25th. Let us remove the misconception and myths associated with this disease. Let us get the treatment in the early part of it itself. Because of the myths associated with this disease, they tend to ignore the other conditions which are even more dangerous. So whoever has the disease, kindly consult your doctor and get the appropriate treatment. Friends, this was a little explanation on vitiligo. If you like this video, share it among your friends and relatives. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again, bye.